The shot clock now under 10. Williams comes over to set the screen for SGA. Sends it down to Poku. Poku. Looks like he might have been affected initially. Spring and free and getting some of those three-point shots and, and really getting the offense ignited. Well, uh, that's a good question, partner. Just patience with the basketball. Just letting the, 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 play, the play develop. Allowing the defense. Hunter also done a good job of that perimeter defense. That's been a very big concern as well coming into tonight's game. Just some big time shot making for the Thunder in this first half. As Porter can't answer with a three for the Warriors. The Warriors and Iguodala looking for the open man. It's Toscano Anderson in the corner. Ball swung back down to Damian Lee. Open corner three. And OKC's lead has shrunk down to one. You see that far hedge out on Curry. Forcing the pass as Porter. He'll give Golden State the lead on that three. Pokashevsky with 10. Dribbling out on the perimeter, wants to drive, and the shot got blocked by Porter, but five on the timer. Unsettled portion of this game. Curry and Iguodala back outside. The three by Porter is good. He's got his second in as many possessions. As Pokashevsky bounces off the defensive player, Giddy, and he saw Porter trying to read where Giddy was going, and in the process, a body bump for a foul. He has been non-existent offensively. Now it'll nearly had it poked away from behind by Iguodala. Williams fighting for space. He's got that game around the basket. That's a nice pass by Shea. Boy, Shea found the open man. Dagno thought that effort from his squad after the game on Sunday, which he also really appreciated. The Thunder have given the Warriors everything they've got tonight.